Good morning, everybody. It's uh, Wacky Wednesday, Happy Hump Day, all that good stuff. Uh, hopefully, y'all was over there enjoying Kurt and Marsha, watching Kurt on the pole at See Me, traveling over there. Yeah, they've always, they've always got some good poles over there. And, uh, well, Baby Enzo wants to know what's going on this morning. So, everybody say hi to Baby Enzo. So, uh, if you followed everybody this morning, we had Eddie this morning, comes on at 7 a.m. Uh, he follows the astute tourist, Jimmy. At six o'clock, and then at eight o'clock, we got Kurt and Marsha see me traveling. And on Wednesday, you got Sea Leg Journeys, followed by at nine o'clock, you got uh, Cruising is Fun Anytime, Eddie Lugo Studios, and JNS Travels. So you got some good stuff lined up during the week. And uh, we come in on the middle of the week to get you over that hump, get you over that wacky Wednesday, to get you energized, to get you through to the rest of the week. Woo! We hope uh, hope y'all are excited about it as I am. So let me let me see how I operate this thing. What's going on here? Okay, let me do that. Let me get over here. Comments. There we go. Let me come in here and see who's here this morning with me. Uh, we got uh, Fearless Rambler coming in. There's George. Good morning to you, George, the Fearless Rambler. Woo! What an awesome guy he is. Make sure you get over here and check out George's channel. What a great guy. We love him. And uh, there's Ocean to Ocean Travel. Great show last night with Lovey's Fat Life. If you missed that, get over there and check that out. Uh, you know, Mike and Michelle, uh, great people to be with. And then you got, you know, Bruce interviewing them. Fantastic show. Uh, go over and check that out. So we got a happy hump day raid coming in from Ocean Ocean. How about that? And then we got the cruise nuts, Mike and Tracy. Good morning to you. Woo! You get the first squeaky of the day. <laughs> Scott McNeil's here. Good morning, everybody. He says, good morning to you, Scott. Thanks for being here. We're in Scott compliance now. We, you know, it's a YouTube thing. We, we have to be in Scott compliance. So thank you, Scott, for being here. And uh, see, uh, Cruise Nuts say good morning to everybody out there. Y'all bear with me with this computer stuff. You know, I'm, I'm computer almost illiterate. We got Danny D, the spectacular supporter here. Good morning to you, Danny D. And you see Baby Enzo saying hi to you, Danny D. That was, that was Baby Enzo saying hi to you right there. It's a cruise live. Pete and Lisa coming over from across the pond. Good morning to you. Or good afternoon to y'all over there. They're saying, hey, guys, hope y'all are well. We hope you're well over there. Woo! And, you know, um, we were going on that cruise, Virgin Voyages. So we just got back Friday, Friday the 13th. We got a lot to talk about today about the norovirus that was on the ship. But I want to say I'm going to catch up with everybody. I started catching up a little bit yesterday on some channels. And, and this morning I got up early and started hitting some more. So I will be coming around on your channel today. So don't be scared when you see See Like Journey's commenting on your on your videos. <laughs> Clock family's here. Good morning to you, Mike, saying hello, everybody. And uh, Fearless says, if you had the norovirus, would you tell anyone? Yeah, I would. And I think I had it one time. Uh, several years back, uh, we were on, I want to say, I can't remember which princess ship it was, but uh, it was like the last, the day before we got off the cruise, I just didn't feel good. I felt kind of shaky. It felt kind of nauseous. So we just stayed in the room. Me and Robin, we just locked ourselves down in the room. And uh, this was years ago before we'd even heard of norovirus or COVID or any of that stuff. And we just thought, well, we'll just stay here and chill out and slept and watched, uh, stuff on the tv but uh yeah now i would definitely tell and uh just so that don't spread throughout the ship because that can be ugly we got jenny woolett here this morning good morning to you making the rounds this morning while i'm working good morning jenny keep lurking while you're working we'll keep you awake we'll keep you energized but don't don't pay attention to your boss he's looking over your shoulder or she's looking over your shoulder don't worry about her or him because uh we, we're going to energize them too how about that Woo! Scott Smith is here. Good morning to you, Scott. Scott is working and lurking. Scott, you're going to get the double squeaky this morning. Just because, just because. Scott's been doing a, a lot of comments on our channel. We appreciate that, Scott. I, I love reading comments. I answer every comment that comes on every video, live show, no matter when it is, where it is, whatever it is. We love the comments. Thanks. Keep them coming. Controversial cruising. We're in double Scott compliance. Hey, Scott, how's it going this morning? Over there. Good morning to you. Uh, Cruise Nuts says good morning to every. Oh, we got a lot of good mornings. That's right. I forgot. We got a lot of good mornings. I love it. Controversial says I like that Scott Smith working 
and lurking. Working and lurking. Hey, don't matter if you're working and lurking this morning. If you're driving to work, if you're driving to the store, if you're driving to school, if you're driving somebody crazy, no matter what you're driving, working, lurking, what you're doing, we want to be right there with you this morning, keeping you awake, woo, getting you pumped up for this week. There's the journey awaits. Hey, Reggie and Cheryl, what's going on over there? Good to see you this morning. Oh, I'm starting to feel energized, y'all. I'm getting excited. Yeah. We got no ships given. No ships given. Hey, that's a new channel right there. You know what you get? You get you get that no ships given. We're glad to see you this morning. Thanks for coming in. Looks like your first time here, at least the first time I recognize you. So don't be scared. It's okay. We're just a little crazy over here at Sea Lake Journeys. Baby Enzo has got everything under control. Mark the Shark is in the house. Everybody get your Mark Shark salute up. Woo! Good morning to you. He says, hello, my beautiful people. Hello to you, Mark the Shark. All right, Kathy Mills, right on. She's saying good morning, coming in on that See Me Traveling Raid. Good morning to you, Kathy. <laughs> you get a double squeaky, too, just because. Just because. I like giving out the double squeakies today. I'm excited about it. There's Will G. Will G says good morning, working and lurking also. Thank you for being here. We know you just got back from a cruise, too. Mm. You know, when you come back from a cruise, you're energized by it, you're excited by it, and you're always looking forward to the next one. I'm already looking forward to my next one. And um, what is what we got here? Jenny says, oh, my goodness, your little fur baby is ridiculously cute. You think he's cute there? Check this out. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. Very much. Well, thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. All right, so there you go, though. Thank you very much from the guys this morning. That's Baby Enzo and Ringo. There's Kurt and Marsha now. Good morning to you, Kurt and Marsha, again. We have a good time over there. I tell you, Marsha has a, a rough time, you know, keeping Kurt in, in control, but thank goodness she's got that doll. Actually, Kurt behaves himself really good. Kurt does a great job over there, and uh, Marsha just makes it better. And I know Captain Billy wasn't there to harass you this morning, but it uh, seems like he's getting a little bit of it from the rest of the crew there. <laughs> and fearless says salute to martin shark <laughs> i love that martin shark to remind everybody to please give us thumbs up we appreciate that those thumbs up help youtube know that somebody wanted to see what was going on this morning bone tired in the house good morning to you bone tired we know denise is over there trying clothes on she's only got what 11 days till you get on that booze cruise all of you guys are fixing to get on that thing make sure you get your clothes checked out because, you know, you got to make sure they fit. And remember to take two sizes of clothes, the clothes that fit you when you get on the ship and the clothes that are going to fit you on day three and after. How about that? And we got the astute tourist, Jimmy. Jimmy, good morning to you, Jimmy. You know, I got up this morning to come in and watch your show and I ended up, I put laundry in and I started uh, taking care of the dog stuff. And next thing I know, your show was almost over. So I'm going to catch you tomorrow, though, buddy. Cruising that saying good morning to everybody, too. We got the Z Man coming in. Good morning to you, Z Man. Z, you get a squeaky this morning, too. All right, you know what? I think I want to roll on over here. It looks like I got to pretty much everybody. We got no ships given. Uh, thanks for the welcome. We have a decent following on TikTok and just moved over to YouTube a few weeks ago. Next cruise is in 11 days. Sounds like you're getting on that booze cruise. Is that right? Let us know in the chat. Okay. And Scott, of course, says good morning to all the fellow Scots out there. Hey, Scots, come on in here. If you know Scott, send all them Scots in here. We like having them. But let's get on talking about what my thumbnail was this morning. It was about the norovirus uh, Friday the 13th when we got off that Virgin Voyage cruise, our very first cruise of the Virgin Voyage, which was fantastic, by the way. Just want to let you know that we got an email from Virgin Voyages. And let me read that email to you. I just want to let you know how transparent this company is. The email reads, let me scroll it down here. Good morning. We hope that you had a wonderful voyage aboard Scarlet Lady last week. Uh, while we know you're likely in transit back home, we wanted to provide some important information, especially as a brand that believes in complete transparency and protecting the safety of our guests and crew. During your voyage, 3% of guests experience acute gastroenteritis, commonly referred to as stomach flu. I'm just going to put a pause there and say what it really is, is the norovirus, okay? It's not a flu at all. 
Um, our medical team isolated these guests and we immediately enacted our enhanced sanitization procedures. We also contacted the CDC and are working closely with their medical professionals to mitigate any further spread. If you experience any stomach flu-like symptoms upon returning home, please contact your local healthcare provider and send an email to healthcheck at virginvoyages.com to report it. Our team is always on hand should you have any questions. Otherwise, we wish you safe travels and hope to see you again on a future voyage. So when I read that email, I thought, oh, look at that. You know, we didn't even, weren't aware really that, well, that was what was going on. But yet, I've got some more to tell you about that. Uh, oh, hey, Randacita. Did I miss Randacita? I did. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Randacita saying, good morning, all 10 days until the Carnival Horizon. Woo! <laughs> Randacita, have fun on that cruise, girlfriend. You're gonna, It's going to be awesome. You're going to love it. Mm. When you get back, I can't wait to see what you vlog about it on your channel. It's going to be great. And uh, here we go. Uh, no Ships Given says, it's going to be our first Halloween on a ship. We can't wait. You know, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. And you know what we're thinking? You know, thinking of Halloween, we've never been able to go on cruises in October and stuff. But now my wife's got a new job. Be being retired, we can. But we're all booked through 2024. But in 2025, in 2025, watch for it. I'm thinking we're going to book a Virgin Voyages cruise for Halloween. I can't imagine an adult only, adult only venue on the cruise ship Virgin Voyages for Halloween. I'm thinking that's going to be. A sea leg journey must do. Woo! Yes, me and Robin have talked about it, and we're both excited about it. We think we're going to make it happen. I'm going to see about pulling the trigger on it very soon. And uh, Clark says, no ships given. We have a big YouTuber group cruise on the Carnival Glory, October 29th. How about that? Uh, and, <laughs> oh, man, that sounds like fun. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, anytime you're going on a cruise, it sounds like fun, doesn't it? But, you know, some of these things, we don't... We've kind of let, forgotten all about the coronavirus thing. I hate to even say it. I, I'm afraid it's like Beetlejuice. If you say it three times, it's going to appear. <laughs> but we don't want to leave out that the norovirus happens at, at sea. It also happens on land, too. We just don't hear about it. It don't get reported because it happens every day in your hometown everywhere. But on a ship, when they hit 3%, they have to get a hold of the CDC and let them know, hey, we got 3% of our people sick. And uh, and talking to a crew member on this ship, didn't even realize what he was really talking about. We briefly talking about being sick on the ship. And they said, it's not too bad when the passengers are the only ones that have it. We can lock them down and isolate them. But he says, but when the crew gets it, it's harder to keep under control. So I was like, wow. And then, lo and behold, the next day, guess what we saw? We're coming out of our room to go out and about on the ship. And right down the hall from us, there's two guys in hazmat suits, orange, with the great big space helmets and everything, and some kind of hose and a device on wheels. And we're like, what is going on down there? We thought the aliens were invading, but no. We believe we didn't stop and talk to the guys because uh, they didn't really look like they wanted to stop and talk. They had these spacesuits on and they were going into this cabin to uh, obviously take care of some uh, contaminated situation, which now we know was the norovirus. But let me tell you, they kept that room locked down. And after we saw the guys in the spacesuits leave, we saw they were bringing food to that cabin. Nobody was coming out of that cabin. Uh, they were... They, the ship really had that under control. I didn't see any other signs on the ship of anything like that going on other than the two guys in the spacesuits down the hall from me. Uh, the food was always excellent. Everything was really, really clean on that ship. We were impressed. Of course, it is a brand new ship. It's only been sailing for two years. You kind of expect it to be clean. And, uh, and it was. And they don't have... Here's the thing. They don't have a true buffet. Okay. So there's nobody going up serving themselves. So to me, I always thought of the buffet as the biggest spreader of viruses um, because people don't wash their hands. There's some, there's some nasty people out there. Y'all, if you haven't noticed and uh, they'll just go up and touch stuff and 
put stuff back and and they're touching the handles and then you have to touch the handles. We really don't like the buffet just for that reason. But on Virgin Voyages, they don't have that. What they have is called the galley. So when you go up there, it's like uh, it's like 11 or 12 different food stations around there. My wife calls it the food court because it looks like a food court in your mall, right? You can walk around and look at all the different things. And if you want something there, if you walk up to the pizza, you can say, hey, I'll take a pizza. Or if you walk up to the burger place, I'll take a burger. And they hand you the food. Okay, you're never touching any utensils or anything. But you don't even have to do that. You can just walk around, do your window shopping, go back and sit down. You can scan the menu with your phone for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or you can uh, get a paper menu, or you can just sit there and somebody will come around and say, what would you like, believe it or not? And when you're ready to order, here's the great thing. When you know you're ready to order, you got a little sign on your table and you flip a little flag up like this. Boop, you flip that flag up, it says, ahoy. And there'll be a waiter or waitress coming around going, how can I help you? What can I get for you? And you can say, well, I would like a bologna sandwich from over there. And I would like some pickled beets from over there. And I'd like some juju beans from over there. And they go to all these stations and get that stuff for you. Now, they don't actually have any of that food I just named. <laughs> they actually have real food. But they will go get everything for you and bring it to you. So imagine a food court like in a mall where you can go around, do your window shopping, sit down, flip your flag, and then order. Or you can sit down and order off the app, and they'll bring it to you. All it comes to you. You don't have to touch anything. To me, it's a much cleaner, safer environment, much less likely for you to catch something like norovirus on. Hey, let me go back to the chat here real quick. And uh, the astute tourist, Jimmy's got a good tip right here. Wash those hands. Yes, wash those hands. Let me tell you what, that is so important. And uh, I want to go over here to the norovirus thing off the CDC and read that to you here in a second. And uh, Cruise Nets has got another good tip. We don't go to the buffets. We very, very rarely go. If we go, it's because it's. I might go first thing in the morning at 6 a.m. when they open and uh, before anybody's got there and I'll run in and eat my first breakfast, uh, you know, because I'm part hobbit. And I, then I go to second breakfast with her in the main dining room. But uh, typically we don't go to the buffet either. And uh, See Me Traveling says, I love that kind of service better. Yes, let me tell you what. After you, If you've cruised on Virgin, you've seen how this galley is set up you know, like a food court in a mall where they bring you to food from any station you want. I can't see why other ships wouldn't go to this. I thought it was fantastic. To me, it was the most impressive thing about Virgin as far as, as, as food service goes. It was totally unique, totally awesome. I loved it. Jimmy says, I have to run and do some work. Y'all have a great day. Jimmy, get to work, brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to come check you out. Uh, if, you're, if you're on in the morning, I know you'll be on Friday morning anyway, and I'll come over there and uh, harass you. How about that? Danny D's getting a good laugh out of that. <laughs> no Ship says, I love that concept much better than the typical cruise buffet. It was so crowded on our Lure of the Seas cruise two weeks ago. Yes, and uh, I've got videos coming up. I've got one finished. It's, um, it's actually on the um, uh, Bimini Island, but I'm also working on some from the ship so that you can see that, um, you know, it just didn't seem as crowded as it usually does on other ships. And uh, I don't think it's because they didn't have a full ship. I just think that the, the layout of it kind of helped. And uh, also, it's just a very different crowd, very, very different crowd of people. Everybody was so chill. It's like nobody was crowding. Oh, I got to hurry up and get there. Everybody was like, yeah, I got to get there when I get there. And I think that helped a lot too. Uh, see me says some all inclusive re resorts service this way always. Oh, did not know that. Did not know that. That's a good thing to know right there. Uh, Cruise Net says we are too bourgeois to, <laughs> to have to sit down to breakfast, laugh out loud. Yeah, I, I know. We, I have to sit down for my second breakfast at least. And uh, Robin loves to sit down in the dining room. Dining room on any cruise ship is always worth going to. We love it. Uh, See Me Traveling says, our first couple sailings on MSC, the service was exactly like this. Or you point and they put it on your plate. That's, you know what, that's when the COVID was going around, when I first started sailing back again in 2021, uh, 
from late 2021, from November, I should say, all the way through 2022, it was a whole lot of that going on. The buffets weren't self-serve anymore on hardly any of the ships. You'd go up and say what you want, and they put it on a plate for you. And uh, that, I think, kept a lot of sickness down. And I thought maybe they'll keep doing that. I really thought they would uh, cruise lines would pick up on that and say, hey, people seem to like this. It seems to be working. I think there's less food waste, less sickness, and uh, people seem to like it better. But uh, but they didn't stick with it. So I don't know. Dining room breakfast is greater than the buffet 100%. <laughs> you are correct, no ships given. I don't think anybody would dispute that. <laughs> we love the dining room. Oh, my goodness, my time is flying by this morning. Can you believe that? Hey, let me read to you in, uh, from the CDC real quick, too, what the norovirus is real quick. Uh, norovirus is a very contagious virus that causes vomiting and diarrhea. Anyone can get infected and sick with norovirus. Norovirus is sometimes called the stomach flu or stomach bug. However, norovirus illness is not related to the flu, which is caused by the influenza virus. Discover norovirus symptoms, how the virus spreads, and how to prevent norovirus. Well, we know how to prevent norovirus, don't we? First, we'll go back to, whoop, I got, I got two mouses here, y'all. I got two screens. Uh, the symptoms are diarrhea, vomiting, nausea, and stomach pain. How do we prevent it? Jimmy talked about it already. Wash your hands, people. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Rinse your fruit and vegetables. Make sure you rinse them off good. Cook shellfish thoroughly. Stay home when you're sick for two days after the symptoms stop and avoid preparing foods for others when sick and for when two days after symptoms. And I think that's why a crew member was saying it's hard sometimes if the crew gets this, it's more apt to spread than it is if just passengers get it. Ah, ah don't forget my magic tumbler with the magic water. It gives me all the energy that I have in the mornings. No caffeine over here, y'all. No caffeine, but we do have real solutions for real cruisers. And, uh, you know, I've, I've often seen on land, too, where it seems like people are washing their hands less. Now, y'all think about this. See if I'm right about this. Because in bathrooms everywhere, they're taking away paper towel rolls and they're putting in those hand dryers. Hand dryers. So I notice as I'm washing my hands and fixing to use the hand, and I'm using that little blowing hand dryer thing, people coming out of the pooper, and walking past me to go out the door. And then there goes another one. And I'm like, I'm, you know, put the paper towels back. Maybe at least half of these people will start washing their hands again. Am I wrong? Am I right? Has anybody noticed that trend? Or am I the only one that's noticed that? Hey, there's Marjorie. Mar Marjorie, you get a double squeaky. <laughs> that's right. Thanks for being here, Marjorie. Love to see a smiling face. <laughs> and uh, see me says, totally agree. Looks like they would have stuck to full service in the buffet. I thought they would. And, uh, hey, we're missing one thumbs up. <laughs> we're missing one thumbs up. Okay, who's missing that thumbs up? Please give us that thumbs up. Godzilla. Godzilla has no thumbs this morning. Look at this guy. No thumbs. Can somebody give Godzilla a thumbs up, please? Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. So Robin's off this week over in on the East coast over there for work. So I'm here at the house all by myself. That's why you don't hear the peanut gallery, the peanut gallery this morning from the other side of the house. And uh, see me saying, pop that thumbs up. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> and the crew's not you're getting a laugh. I'm thinking out of, uh, yeah, uh, Godzilla over here with no thumbs. So, that's what it is. Corona, not coronavirus, the norovirus. That's what we had on Virgin Voyages. I was on that ship with the outbreak. You're probably seeing it all over YouTube right now. We were there. And uh, honestly, could have, if it hadn't been for the two guys down the hall wearing those full hazmat suits with the big cleaning device on wheels and the hose and all that, we probably wouldn't have known anything was going on. We would not have even noticed anything. That's the only sign we saw. So obviously there had to be other people on the ship somewhere, but, uh, and it wasn't like, I don't think it was trying to keep a big secret, it, just that everything was so chill on that ship. Everything was so clean. It was, it was really a great cruise. Highly recommend you try Virgin Voyages. Watch this for 2025, the Brooking 
a Halloween cruise on Virgin Voyages 2025. I think it's going to happen, y'all. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. Mm. Hey, and it's a it's a cruise live says celebrity had linen hand towels, no paper towels or hand dryers, much more hygienic. Right on. Uh, celebrity, they've got that right. Now, and now on the other cruise ships, uh, they're still using paper hand towels, but I'm noticing on land, they're going to these hand dryers. And I just hope that ships don't do that too. It's hard enough to get people to wash their hands, you know, when they got linen hand towels and paper towels. You take those away and put a hair dryer on the wall, and I think you're going to have less people washing and you're going to have more outbreaks. So, cruise lines. Don't put those hand dryers up like they're doing on land. Oh, and Danny D says, your dog is your sidekick. It's taking Robin's place. Yeah, baby Enzo, he's trying to help out this morning. He's pretty chill right now. Uh, it was frisky. It's 54 degrees out there. I opened up the sliding glass doors and let him outside for a minute. And he was like, oh, yeah, this feels great. <laughs> so, we guys, we thank you all for being here this morning. Uh, I just want to remind you, too, real quick here, that we ha do have a group cruise coming up uh, next May, in case you don't know it. Alert, alert! Alert, alert! It it's a group cruise! Group cruise, y'all! With your host, Sea Lake Journeys, TNT Adventures to Sea, and Ocean to Ocean Travel. So come on, let's get on that Norwegian breakaway! May 19th through the 26th, 2024. We'll be leaving out of the Port of Miami, going to Puerto Plata, Dominican Republic, St. Thomas, and Tortola. And finally, we're going to NCL's private island, Great Stirrup K. Contact Bruce at Ocean to Ocean Travel today to get those group rates and special perks. Join the Facebook group for all the planned events. There's room for everyone. Don't forget, contact Bruce at ocean to ocean travelcom We'll see you on the ship. See you on the ship. See you on the ship. I want to put Marjorie's comment up there. Uh, yeah, all I did, Marjorie, all I did was just, I just brushed my hair this morning. That's all. <laughs> yes, we came back 100% healthy. Uh, came back feeling great, feeling like King Kong. And uh, thank you for that comment. Uh, we'd like to do the research. We want to make this channel uh, a little bit of information, a whole lot of fun, and, and a little bit of information, just so you'll know how to help beat that uh, virus that could be on your ship and on land. We want you to be safe and healthy everywhere. So, guys, it is our time is up. So now we're going to be heading over there to watch Eddie and Jeremy and Cheryl, and we're going we're going to see what's going on in the cruising world. Thanks again for being here. And uh, let me get my little thing up here. Hold on, I don't want to mess this up, y'all. And uh, there, wait, 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 there it is. Hold on, y'all. I know it's here somewhere. Okay, I think this is it. So anyway, thanks again for being here. Until uh, Friday, Ray Parade, we'll see you around the channel. <laughs>